Do you want to know three ways to make a million dollars? That's what I'm going to be sharing in this video. Hi, I'm Camille Gaines here on my channel and on my website, retirecertain.com. I share what I learned on our somewhat crazy adventure from financial uncertainty to financial independence after sort of stumbling into early retirement. And we did this with mainstream investments, traditional investments like stocks and bonds, as well as non-traditional, alter more alternative investments. Okay, so in this video, I wanna share with you three ways you can make a million dollars. If that sounds good to you and you like the idea of that, make sure you click the thumbs up below this video. And if you like this information, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click that little bell so you'll get notified when I post new videos. All right, now let me get started with these three ways to make a million dollars. The very first way to make a million dollars is with traditional investing, right? We all are familiar with investing in stocks and bonds. If you invested $1,000 a month for about 26 years, that would grow to over a million dollars at the end of that 26 years if, if you were earning about an 8% average return on your investments. Now, the average return on your investments bit, as you know, and I've talked about this a lot here, is a little bit tricky because we don't know what our investments are going to do in the future. And we sort of use past data to see what might happen. A lot of that depends on what happens in the markets and the timing of the investments and whether you're in stocks or bonds or other investments. But for simplification, let's just say that you were able to earn about 8% a year on your investments after 26 years if you saved a thousand dollars a month you would have over a million dollars now I get that 26 years is a really long time right been, been there and done that right as you can see so 26 years is a super super long time to build wealth and that's I guess that's one of the reasons I'm inspired here with my channel and to, that inspired me to start my channel is so much of the focus is on long-term investing and you may not have 26 years before you want to get that million dollars right nevertheless this can be a great approach if you're younger and you're disciplined and the great thing is it doesn't take a lot of knowledge or skill to do this it can be done with a fairly simple asset allocation model now having said that there's so much more to say that about that that I won't go into in this video so I can get to the other two ways to make a million dollars. But just keep in mind that there is a lot around how you and where you invest if you wanted to try to get that 8% uh, return on your investments. And that's one of the things I cover in my wealth plan, my Rise Wealth Plan that I am working on and expanding right now and I've almost got it done, you guys. So be patient with me and stay posted. All right, the next one Way that you can make a million dollars is from real estate. This example is something that I actually saw with my own eyes online over the past not even year and I want to share it with you because I was like wow they just made a million dollars on this deal and I'll bet they didn't have to work that hard so our first example we looked at 26 years nothing wrong with that right it worked it was very passive this is more of a hands-on thing and let me tell you what I saw all right and this is in real estate okay so I live in Austin and Austin is a growing area and there's an area just outside of Austin it's kind of a I guess we would call it a suburb but it's a different little city and it has waterfront it's on on the water uh, we have several lakes around here and waterfront property is I think like in most places it's just it's just really high value right but this area hadn't appreciated very much with the rest of Austin so there was a house on the market and, and I love to look at real estate I'm always kind of looking on on the various apps to see what's going on in the real estate market it really interests me both from an investment perspective and just in general i find it very interesting and this particular uh, property was on the market for a really long time they had a hard time selling it was several months uh, at least one open house if not a couple of open houses and they finally sold it for four hundred and ten thousand dollars this property had two houses on on the one lot so they were selling them together one was a little bit larger than the other one and I guess one would be sort of more like a guest house okay so four hundred and ten thousand dollars in December of 2019 
this property sold, right? All right. I noticed in August, one of the houses, the larger of the two houses had sold for well over a million dollars. Now it wasn't, when I say well over a million, it, it was not to million one, but it was somewhere between a million and a million one. Okay. All right. That was for one of the houses and they had paid 410,000 for the property only, what is that? Nine months earlier or something like that. Okay. So that really got my attention. So I looked to see what they had done to the house and it looked like they had done, you know, some pretty good fix up work to the house, but it wasn't, it wasn't huge. It wasn't like a, a gutting and rebuild kind of thing. And the houses were not large houses. So it hadn't, I, I felt like they hadn't spent a whole lot of money on the, on the fixer upper. Right. And then in October of 2020, I saw the second house sold for over $800,000. <laughs> Go figure, right? So I think we're talking about a million dollars here. All right. Let's look at the numbers on this. Okay. So we had the $410,000 that they paid for the two houses. All right. The one property, two houses. And let's say they spent $190,000 fixing up those two properties. I think that would be about right for what I saw on the improvements. Plus that comes out to a nice, even $600,000. Okay. So let's say their cost was about $600,000. They sold the properties. Let's just round down for a million on the first house and 800,000 on the second house. Let's round down on both of those. That's a million eight. And then let's say that they had to pay a broker fee, a real estate broker fee on those houses. So after the real estate broker fee, let's say that they made a million seven hundred thousand dollars. All right. And that's, let's deduct their cost of six hundred thousand dollars from that. And then let's go ahead and deduct another hundred grand because things always cost more than we think they're going to cost, right? Something seems to hit our profits, right? When we do things like this. So let's knock that off. And then we're down to a million dollars, right? Probably over a million dollars. So that's way number two to make a million dollars that I recently saw myself. Now, well, while this wouldn't take 26 years, right? We saw this happen in only nine, really 10 months by the time, well, 11 months, December to October. So say 11 months by the time they did this whole deal. And let's look at that though. And what did it take in order for them to do this deal? It wasn't really timing the cycle of the real estate market because the real estate market has been strong forever. We're, yeah, I would think near the top of the market, if anything, Austin is a strong market. Um, so they capitalized on that and they also just were really good at finding undervalued properties. And that's one of my favorite ways to invest is undervalued assets. So that's what they did. They found an undervalued asset and they took advantage of it. And granted, they probably are doing this. This probably isn't their first rodeo. In other words, they're probably doing this and or, and or have done this before. So they have some skill in this area, right? Nevertheless, that was a pretty cool million dollars. All right. Then I'll share with you the third way to make a million dollars. This third way to make over a million dollars is to start an online business. All right. I know that everybody's promoting online businesses, but I see people making everything from a few hundred dollars a month within a fairly short period of time. You know, a lot of people making two, three, four thousand dollars a month, all the way up to these examples that I'm going to show you of people that are just regular people like us that have made a lot of money simply by starting a blog. The first example is Heather Delaney Reese. She started a family and a lifestyle blog. And in 2019, she made over $2,200 something thousand dollars, right? In that one year, you know, that, that there was, well, 2 million, right? It wasn't 1 million, it was 2 million. And that was because she started out as a blogger. She started out writing about her lifestyle and her family. That's example number one. Example number two, Sven Lennertz. And Vitaly Friedman started Smashing Magazine. In 2017, they made about two and a half million dollars just in that one year. They started out writing about technology stuff, about online business, about websites, and it became this 
large website or highly profitable website, I should stay, say making a lot of money. All right, the third example I wanna share with you comes from Michelle Schroeder Gardner. She made over $1,500,000 in 2018 from her financial blog that she started as a hobby called Making Sense of Sense. So that's three examples of just regular people that have made over, well over a million dollars in just one year. So out of those three bloggers, two of them made over $2 million in one single year. Now, granted, they've been at this a long time, right? This wasn't a, you know, get rich quick scheme. Nevertheless, they started blogging. I'm very familiar with Michelle. She's a financial blogger and she lived in an RV and with her dogs, right? While she was doing all of this. So this shows us that this is very, very doable. Okay, each of those examples made well over $10,000 a month, right? But let's just equate this. Let's take this back to that very first example we saw where someone saved $1,000 a month for 26 years at, and it earned 8%, then they would have over a million dollars at the end of that 26 year period. What if someone sort of combined these models and they started a blog like these three examples did and they made mm, 10,000 a month, which I know is a whole lot, but it's way less than these people were making. And what if they saved that money, they invested it, and they were able to make 8% a year? How long would it take them to get to over a million dollars by saving that money they're making from blogging? It would take about seven and a half years to do that. Look at the difference in that. So the more you save, obviously, you're thinking, Camille, don't leave any nasty comments, the more your money grows. But also, if you can add an extra income stream, maybe a little alternative income stream that's outside of mainstream thinking, maybe that could make a huge difference for you as we've seen in this example. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you watch this video next.